Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn Ansible playbook. So first of all, here you can see what is Ansible playbook. Ansible modules execute tasks. One or more Ansible tasks can be combined to make a play. And two or more plays can be combined to create an Ansible playbook. Ansible playbooks are list of tasks at autom that automatically execute against host group of hosts from your Ansible inventory. Then each module within a Ansible playbook performs a specific task. Each module contains metadata that determines when and where a task is executed as well as which user executes it. So that's the Ansible playbook. Then Next is, here you can see, to create your Ansible playbook, you should know what is inventory, what is modules, and what is task. So firstly, what is inventory? So the inventory is nothing but a list of hosts or group of hosts, and the default location of your host inventory file is slash etc, slash Ansible, then slash host, then module. Modules are programs that perform the actual work of the task or of a play. These modules we use under task session in our playbook. Then tasks. A task nothing but a, sesh, a set of instruction which can be performed by using modules. So in that, in the task we are usually called modules. Then now let's write our first ansible playbook so we are going to write an apache playbook so we need to name it as dot yml or dot yml extension so here we are going to use install apache dot yml because it is going to install apache 2. so here you can see this is my playbook this is my simple playbook so let's understand ansible playbook so here first ansible playbook start with three dash then next line starts with single dash then name is optional here here you can see then the host is nothing but here the host is nothing but list of server are target nodes and host like all or name of your group so my group name is DevOps Saint. Then if you want to use become a root here, if you want to use become a root, then you can use become true. Then next is task. So in task, we are going to perform operations. Tasks are a list of the actions which our playbook perform on a remote host. Then we are going to use the APT module here. You can go to the official page of Ansible where you can check modules and their parameters. And if you scroll down, you can see examples of Ansible playbook. So If you scroll down here, you can see firstly for yum using yum uh, using uh, install using yum package. Then if you scroll down here, you can see for apt. Now here you can see apt package. So if you scroll down here, you can see the parameters. So here you can see the parameters of name. Here you can see. So that's the parameters of APT package. And if you scroll down here, you can see the state, absent, build tape, latest, present, fixed. So if you don't know, then you can check from here, then attributes. And in last, if you scroll down here, you can see the examples of playbooks. 
So install Apache, then update repositories, remove full package, install the full package, install list of package, install the versions, so on. So here you can see some examples. So you can go to the official page and you can check it. Then then and in ansible playbook indentation is very important so now we are going to create our playbook using this command and our playbook name is install apache yml so here you can see this is my master node and this is my client node that means this is my ansible server and now we are going to create our ansible playbook So first of all, we need to log into our Ansible. And now we are going to create our Ansible playbook. And here we need to add this code. And now we are going to install Apache 2. And here, in, uh, indentation is very important so take care of indentation so yeah it's correct now save the file and exit now it's done now if you want to check this playbook successfully work or not then you can run the below command so here is the command so first of all, you need to enter Ansible iPhone playbook, then your playbook name. And here, here I'm using by default host file. That's why here I'm not mentioned my host file. That means our inventory file. If you have created new inventory file, then you can run the command like this. Ansible playbook hyphen I, then my inventory means my inventory file, then your playbook name. That's my playbook name. Then hyphen hyphen check. Now let's check because here, here I'm not using any special inventory file. Ansible playbook and my playbook name. If you have created any uh, special inventory file, then you can mention here after playbook here, hyphen I, then your inventory file. Now let's check, uh, it is a, here you can see. Now, if you want to check the playbook successfully work or not, then you can run the below command. So for that, let's check for check run the command hyphen hyphen check so you can see there is no any error there is no any fail so it's done now first of all this is my instance ip that means my, my uh, client node ip so first of all let's check in browser So you can see this site can't be reached. That means there is no any installed package. So let's install Apache. So for run our playbook, to run our playbook, you can run the command Ansible playbook and name of your playbook. And if you using any special inventory file, then you can run the command Ansible playbook hyphen I and name of your inventory file. So your command look like this, but as of now, here I'm not using any special inventory file. So that's why my command look like this, Ansible playbook and install apache.yml.
Now here you can see in change there is one. So let's check in browser. So copy this instance IP and so here, so refresh the page. So let's check. So here you can see Apache to Ubuntu default page. That means our Apache to successfully install in our client node, IP, uh, client node. That means remote host. So it's successfully installed. Now, if you want to uninstall this package, then simply go to your uh, go to your Ansible playbook. So this is my playbook. So run the command sudo nano and name of your playbook. Then, then here you need to change the state latest replace with absent. Now save the file and now run the uh, playbook using this command ansible playbook and name of your playbook and now let's check and now you can see it's done there is no any error so let's check in browser now refresh the page so here you can see this is our ip So now you can see this site can't be reached. That means it's successfully removed. It successfully removed Apache 2 from this instance. So it's done. Now, if you want to add user, if you want to uh, copy any file, so you can go to the official page and here from here you can check the examples so you can see to install to remove to update repositories so here you can see the commands so you can go to the official page of ansible then you can check it so now it's done so in this video we have learned ansible playbook so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops and channel